Off the top here at 8 o'clock today, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser responding to the Baltimore City State's attorney who claims D.C.'s crime is spreading north to Charm City. Fox News' Stephanie Ramirez spoke with the mayor about the claim. This all comes after we learned that the two suspects in the Morgan State mass shooting, that they are D.C. teens. Now, there's currently a 17-year-old from the district in custody. Baltimore police have a warrant out still searching for the second suspect, identified as an 18-year-old. This is Javon Williams of Northeast D.C. This is the same person federally indicted over the summer after D.C. and federal investigators announced the arrest of multiple people in connection with alleged Kennedy Street crew criminal activity including gun and drug trafficking. Baltimore's state's attorney said Friday, quote, in the past, D.C. would worry that Baltimore crime would somehow make its way down there, but now it appears D.C. crime has actually come to Baltimore. I don't know that I have a re response to that. Um, what I know is almost immediately when law enforcement officials put out those pictures, um, the suspect individuals were identified and that information shared with local law enforcement. Um, I think what is important to focus on is uh, that the U.S. Attorney, the FBI and MPD have been working on a months long investigation. And police confirmed for us today that at 15 years old, Williams was previously reported missing in the district. The deputy mayor for public safety's office will not tell us whether the city had any contact with him as a juvenile, but claimed that they do perform some kind of post-investigation when D.C. youth are involved in serious crimes. We also confirmed Williams was arrested back in January in connection with the federal indictment after a district court search warrant was carried out. He and several other suspects were picked up in a northeast D.C. home with multiple guns and ammunition inside. He was released after that arrest. The U.S. Attorney's Office tells us Williams was federally indicted in June, so about five months later after they were able to develop sufficient evidence to link him to a firearm recovered in the home that past January, and he has also been wanted ever since that indictment. Uh, we asked the mayor as well about the Republican-led Judiciary Committee hearing that happened on D.C. crime last week. The mayor telling us some four days later she still hadn't heard it, so respectfully, we asked why. Because it was a hours-long hearing, and it was just on Thursday, and uh, I probably won't watch all of it, but I will get some reports back out from staff. Why take the opinion of folks that don't have our best interests at heart from the Judiciary Committee, i.e. Jim Jordan? You know what I mean? So I think it's politics at play. That sh the reason why she didn't um, pay attention to it and her staff didn't brief her. Should she have been? I think she should have. That was just one of a few different answers we got on the topic. The mayor also told us today her office is working on some changes to address issues that her office says they have with some of the police reform legislation that has passed. Guys.